Congratulations, you're an entrepreneur or you're an entrepreneur in the making. Hi, I'm Martin Sharp, award-winning speaker, coach, mentor and consultant. And today we're going to look at those six common myths. Myth number five, entrepreneurs want the whole show to themselves. Now for me, when you think about this, entrepreneurs want the whole show to themselves. And there are some entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, who will run a very successful business all by themselves. They will deliver great service or a great product, um, but this is capped at the capability that they can do everything themselves. To actually create a great growing business, a business that can exceed just what one man can do or one woman can do, then you really have to bring in more people into your team. And that's where some of the greatest businesses, some of the greatest small businesses as well, are actually built up of many people. And the entrepreneur knows this, and he's kind of building these great relationships to make sure that things do move forwards that he has got a sustainable way of being able to build a business. And this may not mean that he brings all the profits home to himself. He may bring, use those profits to share with the people within his organisation, within his team, with the investors. Because at the end of the day, 100% of nothing is still nothing. So if you can get 50% of something big, isn't that worth it? Myth number six, entrepreneurs experience a lot of stress and pay a high price for that role. I have not been able to find any evidence that says this is true, that being an entrepreneur is any more stressful than any other position. Because even in business today, in corporate business, in other business, as an employee, you still feel stress. There are still demands being made in your day. You still have to do more for less. And the thing is, being an entrepreneur, you get to be able to choose which stressful situations you're going to put yourself into and how are you going to be able to work with those. And you, you'll find other ways of having better job satisfaction because as an entrepreneur, you probably find there are other things, great things in your life that you actually want to do other than just making money. Plus, being the command of your own ship means that you can choose where those funds go. You can choose what you're going to invest in and what you don't want to invest in. If you want to make a great social contribution, you can do. If you do want to do something that will build a great business, you can do. You're not constrained with the role that you've been handed down to deal with. So when you think about people who are in the nine to five, Monday to Friday, which isn't really a nine to five, Monday to Friday anymore. In fact, if you look at most organizations and you look at their, their management teams, their senior teams, their consulting teams, many of them will be doing a lot more than Monday to Friday, nine to five. Whereas as an entrepreneur, not only can you do the hours when you need to do them, you can also take the time off when you want to as well. So hopefully this will give you a great insight to six key myths that I found perpetuated about being an entrepreneur and actually the reality of that. And if you're thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, then congratulations and welcome to the other side. Have a great winter solstice. Bye for now. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've really enjoyed the content. I've got some real benefit in how to build your growing, profitable and sustainable business. Please like and comment below and remember to share this content to somebody you believe could really benefit from it. If you haven't done already, subscribe to our channel and remember to turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next great tip in how to build your growing, profitable and sustainable business. Bye for now.